When you've waited 2,395 days to return to the major leagues, you can wait a few moments longer. That's Albert Suarez, a 34-year-old right-handed pitcher from San Felix, Venezuela, who is about to make his Oriole debut. It's an amazing story. Seven years since his last big league appearance, a long odyssey through professional baseball in Asia and Japan and Korea. And here is Albert Suarez back in the bigs once more. Yeah, 17 year professional career for Suarez. He's going to make his 214th career start, his 335th appearance. Over 1,400 innings pitched. And Julian swings and misses. Round one goes to Albert Suarez, his first at bat as an Orioles starter. Results in a strikeout. And there's one away with Ryan Jeffers. Coming up to the plate. Ryan Jeffers first pitch swing and gets that fastball. Sounded like he shattered his bat. He pops out to Jackson Holiday from second base in short center. Buxton makes contact with this one. Pops it into left field. And Albert Suarez in his first major league game in seven years has a 1-2-3 first inning on nine pitches. Well, what an impressive first inning that was for Albert Suarez. See if the offense can get him some run support. They've been doing that to just about everybody of late. Facing Pablo Lopez. There's a look at Pablo Lopez, the best the Twins have. Henderson has been aggressive. Had a first pitch home run last night. We're the 1-2 again. Henderson destroys it. Right center field, Gunner bidding for another home run. He's done it! A leadoff long ball, and Gunner Henderson has put up six home runs by April the 17th. Henderson make it three straight days with a long ball. And the Orioles, who came into today leading the major leagues in home runs, have hit yet another one. That is number 28 as a team, and the leadoff Hummer makes it 1 nothing 0. Got him. Breaking ball. Sweeper down it inside. He races Rutschman. Here's the pitch, and it's a kangaroo hopper towards first. A charge for Miranda. Grabs it just shy of the dirt and steps on first base. As this one skied foul near home. Jeffers loses the headgear, makes the catch just off the batter's circle, and the inning is done. Nothing but fastballs so far for Suarez in his Orioles debut. 34-year-old. Kirilov pops it up. Kowser in left field. Sends one high and deep to left, down the line, towards the corner. That ball carrying, and that's going to be in play. And one ops off the wall. Enjoying his trip to Camden once again. The Twins have their first base hit today. One out, the 2-2 pitch, line drive center field. Mullins charging on. He'll make a chest tie catch. Go back in a second. It's fairly close play, but Miranda is back in time. A chopper out to shortstop. A big bounce for Henderson. Fields throws and gets Martin at first base. Long at bat goes to Albert Suarez. Pablo Lopez to the hill here in the second. Gave up a two-strike homer to Gunnar Henderson to open the first and then Set the Knicks three down in order. Swung on a miss, he struck him out. Another strikeout for Lopez, his second. A little heater by Mountcastle, and there's one down from Mullins. And Mullins drills it right back to Lopez, who knocks it down and throws him out. That was full-on instinct survival mode there for Pablo Lopez. Kowser, a little check swing, ground ball out to third, and he is retired. So a one, two, three, second inning for Pablo Lopez. Last fastball of the second inning was 97.8 miles per hour to Austin Martin, the fastest pitch of his big league career. His fastball velocity way up the last time he was in the bigs. Castro hooks one into right. Ryan O'Hearn stumbles and makes the catch. Yeah, just the way you drew it up. There's a breaking ball. Suarez strikes him out, and that's the second punch out for Albert and Julian goes down swinging pumping heat Albert Suarez in his Oriole debut pretty cool story developing at Camden Yards on a Wednesday afternoon it's one nothing Baltimore hit it harder hit it soft Jordan Westberg finds his way on base anyway anyhow and another two strike knock two for Jordan Westberg holiday high and deep into right field out toward the wall but he just got under it and Kirilov tracks it down at the wall. Westberg goes sliding back into first. Runner stumbles off the bag and a swinging miss by Henderson. Chased a fastball up and out of the zone for the third Pablo Lopez strikeout. As Retchman hits a high fly ball right field, Kirilov measuring. Puts it in his pocket for the final out of the inning. Another fastball for Suarez. Another out for Suarez. Here's the seventh pitch to Buxton. 
And he strikes out swinging. Let it eat on the Suarez heat. It's a smoke show right now, I'm telling you. And that's a fair ball down the left field line. Kirilov will try for two. Kowser will fire towards second base. Not in time, a two-out double for Kirilov here in the fourth inning. That's popped up on the infield. Mountcastle charging in. He'll give way to Rutschman. And the dream just keeps on getting better and better for Albert Suarez. He also took a moment to reflect on what this means that he's made this comeback. And he said, look, it's the big leagues. This is where everybody wants to be. This is what we live for. But days like today are a really big deal. And talking to Grayson Rodriguez, he also added how much he loved watching his electric fastball. Well, we're all loving it right now, Mel, as Suarez covers first and gets Trevor Larnick to ground out. Martin down to third. Easy for Westbury. This isn't even hard contact. Farmer out to right field, slicing away. O'Hearn leaping makes a catch. Ryan O'Hearn preserves the shutout for Suarez through five. So after the leadoff home run, Pablo Lopez has only allowed an infield single. And he's looked like the Pablo Lopez from a year ago. Yeah. Strike three called. That's a good pitch. Bottom part of the zone. So lengthy at bat, but Lopez strikes out his fourth Oriole so far today. Swing and a miss on a changeup, back to back strikeouts, and Kowser's out number two. Westberg hits it well to second. It's dropped by Julian, but the ball got to him so quickly that he has plenty of time. Lopez with another one, two, three, and this pitcher's duel rolls along into the sixth. Third time through the order, and Eddie Julian flies out against. Albert Suarez who has stolen the show in his Oriole debut and he hits Jeffers with it. Ryan Jeffers the fourth Minnesota base runner and the first hit batter today in the dirt. No chance for Adley there. It's off the top dugout railing and Jeffers had eyes for third in a wild pitch. He'll hold it second. Weak ground ball by Buxton. Suarez will look at third. Oh, Throw it to third. He got Jeffers there. Oh what can he do. A uh, heads up defensive play and a base running miscue by the Twins. And this ovation is going to make it feel like there are 45,000 here. Albert Suarez, first big league game in nearly 2,400 days. A masterful performance. And a ground ball down to second. Coulomb does his job in the six. Closes the line for Suarez at five and two thirds shutouts. Good things come to those who wait. Speaking of dominant, Lopez leadoff home run to Gunnar Henderson since then. He's retired 15 out of the next 16 batters, only allowing a single to Jordan Westberg. Struck him out at 95. Sixth strikeout for Lopez. Struck him out on a high fastball. The strikeouts are piling up for Lopez now seven. The 2 2 pitch to left center field. Martin over towards the gap. He will dive, and Austin Martin. Hydro planting on the damp grass makes a fine play in left center field. The defense continues at Camden Yards for everybody. Martin with a gem. Still a 1 0 lead through six. It's a four pitch walk to Margot. That was very un Danny like. Jacob Webb's going to come into this 1 0 game. Webb's got to face three batters. Martin is the first. Runner goes 3 2 pitch. Line drive base hit left center field. Margot to third base. He's got the green light from Tommy Watkins. Henderson fires way offline. Martin goes to second safely. Tie game 1 1. So Margot was running, and because of that, Tommy Watkins had the green light. The throw from Henderson was offline. Martin went to second base, and we're even here in game three. Farmer is 0 for 5 in the series. Line drive base hit left field. Martin great speed around third heading home the throw will not be in time Martin scores twins take the lead on a farmer two out single the twins have rallied production from the bottom part of the order well the day is complete for Pablo Lopez on an outstanding day it was six innings two hits one run the said per Santander will turn around at bat right handed Santander smokes one in the left Margot will watch it out of here a delivery to the splash zone and Santander splashing and smashing this game into a 2 2 tie. Tony Taters in the house. We are all squared again. Oker's 10th pitch coming. Mm. Drilled left field. That ball will get down. Base hit Mountcastle. Homered off the lefty earlier in the road trip. There goes Mountcastle. 
Kowser frustrated. He popped it up. Short center field, though. Could be trouble. Base hit. It landed in a Bermuda parallelogram in between four Twins fielders. Mountcastle gets to third. Now it's time for Brock Stewart. Make this eighth appearance of the year has not allowed a run so far. Again, the 2 2 struck him out at 97, and that's where it ends. There's Yenier Cano making his ninth appearance of the year. He's been solid as usual, eight and a third, eight strikeouts. Opponents hitting 273. And that's an outstanding delivery by Cano. And the sinker strikes out Buxton. One of the best sinkers in the game. No go for Minnesota against Cano. The former twin. Sends this game to the bottom of the eighth in a 2-2 tie. Jackson Holiday will lead off the Baltimore eighth inning in a 2-2 game. Strike three, 98, and down goes Holiday. He is now one for 25 with 14 strikeouts to start his big league career. 0-2 pitch. Swung on a missed. He struck him out. It was a sweeper from Brock Stewart. Everything was hard right up until the final pitch. Stewart fans a pair in a scoreless eighth outstanding effort from Brock Stewart. Well, the Orioles return to their closer, Craig Kimbrell. Obviously not a closed situation. He has been outstanding as of late. Just ask Margot about the shape right now. It's a strikeout to lead off the ninth. The Orioles ninth to two walks as a team. Castro goes after the first pitch and smacks it right to the glove of Mount Castle. Griffin Jacks, who takes over for Brock Stewart in the Minnesota bottom half of the ninth. Ryan Mountcastle. Base hit, left center field. Mountcastle to first. Mountcastle will hold right there. Cedric Mullins, three career walk-off plate appearances. Never hit a walk-off home run. Until now, maybe. Deep right field. Cedric Mullins, good night. Sweet dreams, Minnesota. Cedric Mullins with the first walk-off home run of his career. Ending a sensational series. Five straight games for the Orioles, three or more home runs.